Coming to you from the Cap and Cork Studios, this is the Morning Buzz. Hi, this is Andy Lebemoff. It's Friday morning time for another edition of the Morning Buzz here at the Coldwater Cap and Cork. I'm back from my bi-weekly suspension from the NFL for using the word Super Bowl a couple weeks ago, so I'm not going to use it again today even though I just used it. Anyway, so I'll probably be off the air next week too with Roger Goodell even though he's locked up in his basement right now. Hey, listen, uh, I'm not going to get political today. Uh, today is, uh, so we're going to talk about actually some products. Uh, we do appreciate everybody uh, using our curbside service uh, here at the, uh, not only at the Coldwater store, but all our stores over Fort Wayne. We're trying to do the best we can and hopefully next week uh, we will be back as business as usual. We can only pray for that, but we are thankful that we're in business. We're still open to provide our uh, friends with their uh, uh, alcoholic beverage needs. Anyway, today is National Sauvignon Blanc Day. I don't know where they come up with these holidays, but uh, Rachel informed me it was Sauvignon Blanc Day, so I'm going to uh, talk about two of my favorite Sauvignon Blancs. Actually, one's my favorite. It's my wife's favorite. The other one we sell a lot of, and it's kind of going under the radar. And I'm going to uh, pull my best Joe Biden here, and I'm going to look down here for my notes. Actually, I don't have any notes. I just got two bottles. So the first one I'm going to talk about, this is the infamous Goose. It's a Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand, the Marble area. It's uh, really nice. Uh, everybody talks about Kim Crawford. Uh, and, you know, a Kim Crawford for me is a grocery store wine. Everybody carries it. Everybody drinks it. Infamous Goose is an excellent Sauvignon Blanc. A lot of citrus, grapefruit, uh, very clean and crisp. Uh, it's stainless. It's, you know, no, no wood, stainless steel. Uh, twist off, great, great Sauvignon Blanc, especially for the warm days coming up ahead. Great with chicken, fish for dinner. You can just drink it before dinner with cheese and crackers or fresh fruit, etc., etc. But excellent. Uh, hopefully, it'll warm up here and everybody will be by their pool or out enjoying things. So, uh, Kim, or Infamous Goose uh, Twist Off retails for $16.99. Uh, this next one is my wife and I's favorite um, wine. This is the Man Sauvignon Blanc. So, this is totally opposite of the Infamous Goose. This is from South Africa, so it's old, old world. It's going to be a little bit more minerally. It's still very uh, light. It still is very crisp, but there's no citrus in it. So it's a nice, pleasant, well-balanced um, white wine. We drink it, well, I shouldn't say every night, but we do drink it an awful lot. And uh, we drink it with steak, with fish, with chicken, uh, basically every meal. Uh, it is also a twist off. This is a little less expensive, retails for $10.99. So you can see that I uh, like to spend a lot of money on my wine at home. Other than that, listen, have a great weekend and uh, thanks for stopping at Cap and Cork and uh, be healthy and stay safe. Welcome to Matt and Brent's Cap and Cork Lounge. Let's see what the boys have in store for us today. Hey, welcome back into the Cap and Cork Lounge. Matt and Brent here, and Brent's gonna have some talk about here real quick. Hey, so one of the uh, uh, newest releases, uh, Blood Oath, uh, yearly release, uh, outstanding project that John Rimpey does at uh, the Lux Row. And let me tell you, uh, this is the Pack 6, uh, finished in a cognac barrel and uh, one of the best uh, Blood O's that I think I have tried uh, in a long time. Um, again, great project that John does. I mean, such a visionary that he's, he's thinking five years out on his uh, pact. So again, I give him credit for being able to uh, envision what he wants to do uh, down the road uh, with this project. And again, cognac finish this year. Um, great colors, uh, what a great, it, and for you cognac fans, you'll get that in the finish slightly. I mean, it's not gonna take away from the, the bourbon, but uh, let me tell you, it's a great uh, uh, great finish and uh, one of the best in my opinion. So, uh, one other barrel we wanna talk about is uh, a barrel pick from us, is the Woodford number seven barrel that just arrived. So, again, uh, curbside only, but uh, make sure you request that either by phone call or if you happen to just show up. Uh, Matt's gonna talk about a really cool thing that's uh, happening tonight. A uh, joint master distiller, John Rempe, as he samples and shares his expertise on a few of our favorite bourbons, including Rebel Yell 100, Davies County, Kentucky Straight Bourbon, David Nicholson Reserve, Lux Row 12 Year, and the highly anticipated Blood Oath Pack 6. And that's tonight, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And uh, it's been a great opportunity to, to you know, have a nice relaxing uh, time and, and join with him on some great bourbon. So, hey, Cap and Cork, 15 great locations, great service, great selection. Again, thank you for all your patronage. And we need a big shout out to our employees. They've done a fabulous job of 
of adapting to the situation and, and just making sure that we're taking care of the customer. Great job to our, uh, to our employees. Uh, we'll see you next week. Woo! Cheers to our employees. That's all this week from the Cap and Cork Studios. We'll keep you in good spirits and you keep us in good company. We'll see you right back here next week 